NBC Six is celebrating women. She spent more than two decades battling drug lords and cartels, working to get cocaine off the streets. She traveled the world, but has now returned home to Louisiana, spending time with family and inspiring women to live life fully. Meet Pamela Brown. It's the stuff movies are made of, but Pamela Brown lived it. I am an adventure junkie. I like danger. She has consulted with several authors and actresses, including Gabrielle Union, as she prepared for this role in Bad Boys 2. I do not have a comfort zone. I don't have one. Uh, my mother tells me I was this way when I was five years of age. It's one of the reasons Brown jumped at the chance to become an agent with the Drug Enforcement Administration back in 1988. I was cardiac rehab director at Tulane Medical Center in New Orleans. And uh, I was approached by DEA. They thought I'd be a good fit. At that time, they were looking for women that had a degree. I had a master's. Women that were fit. I had just run a marathon. Um, and women that were adventurous. She easily qualified, then began the intense work at the training academy in Quantico, Virginia. You learn to do undercover work. You learn to ID drugs. You learn how to testify in court. You learn how to shoot all kinds of weaponry. Handguns, M16s submachine guns. When she took the job, she says less than 5% of agents were women. I always volunteered to go in the door first, uh, do the midnight shifts, because I felt that I needed to prove myself. I hope today that women in law enforcement don't feel like they have to prove themselves. She speaks three languages and has traveled extensively. I worked in every country in Central America, every country in South America, and to this day, Thailand was my favorite place. Brown was the agent in charge of DEA operations in Thailand for five years. She encourages others to study different languages and cultures. But seeing a broader picture of the world can only help us because we are not the United States alone. Everything in the world today is global. We need to look at our commonalities versus our differences. During her 23-year career, Brown won several awards as a leader and supervisor, amassed a handful of passports, and built a beautiful collection of art from around the world. Now in retirement in Shreveport, she says her goals have changed over the course of a life well lived. Well, when I was younger, I used to think that I could help change the world. You know, and now I look at helping to change my world. And my world starts with my neighborhood. And really just being a positive human being who wants to put out goodness, be kind. And she certainly is kind and she's an inspiration. And Pamela Brown will be the keynote speaker for the YWCA's Women Who Care Share Luncheon Thursday at the Horseshoe River Dome. You can find information at ArchitectsHomepage.com.